Where can you find 300 shows, documentaries, and movies all about airplanes? We're talking to the creator of Aeroverse in the hangar. Welcome to In the Hangar. I'm Christy Wong. And I'm Dan Milliken. In the Hangar is brought to you by our great sponsors like 67 Designs that make the best camera, cell phone, and tablet mounts for your airplane or your boat or car. More on them at the end. We're here to talk about this really cool app. It's yeah, a it's called it's called Aeroverse. Aeroverse, yes. Yes, and we've got the creator and the the guy that's making it happen here. We got Charles. Charles, thanks for coming on the no show. No problem. Thank thanks, you, Charles. Nice to see you, Chris. And we've got Nathan Fletcher. Nathan, I, I've met you before. I just I know you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I've worked with Nathan for well over 15 years. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. So okay. we go, we go way So back. we'll talk later. Yeah, about, we'll, okay. Yeah, got I've it. I've got some good stories about Daniel. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, so, uh, let, let's talk first of all, what is this new network, Nathan? Well, Aeroverse is a streaming app. So, okay. um, think of it as Netflix, but for airplanes and space. I'm sold. So, Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> Aeroverse.com. Um, so yeah, so, you know, it's a uh, commercial free, for a subscription, um, and you get to watch all the documentaries and TV shows you want. Um, we have a selection of different shows from all over the country, as well as some hit YouTubers like Dan Milliken. Nah. One of I've them. heard of him. Uh, <laughs> we have some of his content. And Christy content. Wong? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of her, too. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got, like, Mike Patey and Baron Pilot and some of those guys uh, that we've also got their content. But you don't have to watch YouTube commercials if you watch it on Aeroverse. And then we have a lot of documentaries on warbirds and general aviation, Alaskan bush pilots, uh, you name it. So uh, a good collection of content um, that you can subscribe to and watch. And, and right now, we're on Web and Roku. Um, and then uh, later this year, we'll be rolling out on all the app stores. Oh, perfect. Charles, you're the one that actually came up with this idea, correct? Mm -hmm. How did you come up with this? Well, I am third generation pilot. I grew up in an aviation family. So in addition to being around airplanes, whenever an airplane type movie came on, like Baba -Ba Black Sheep, I was watching it as a, as a kid. And through the years, it's become clear to me, some of those airplanes will never move again. You'll never see them fly again. Yet I saw them in the movies when I was a kid. And I was talking with Nathan's father, in fact, and I said, why is there not an aviation channel that's generating aviation content while also bringing some of this stuff that maybe the modern television production companies think is dated, but for an aviation enthusiast is not, because that's where you see this stuff. So we got talking about that, and that's what brought it all into a conclusion of, why don't we start an aviation channel to address that? Okay, so that's how you got involved then in all of this. You took it and you were like, airplanes, who doesn't love airplanes, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, Charles ran into my father and uh, and he said, well, you know, I, I'd love to do this thing. And my father was like, well, I'm retired, but have you met my son? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's how I got involved in it. Okay. Because you've been, you've, you've done network, running networks. Yeah, my, my background's in uh, video and film production. I've been doing this for, since I was 16. So I know TV production. I'm not an aviation guy, not an aerospace guy. I'm a TV guy. Um, in the last 10 years or so has well, been- Well, we'll forgive you. Yeah, that's, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Although you're a TV guy, so you really share some both. of the blame, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, but I've been doing that for about, the uh, last 10 years has been cable TV, worked for uh, Ride TV, a cable network, and then uh, Great American Family, another cable network. And uh, along the way, launched a couple streaming services like Ride TV Go, Great American Adventures, things like that. Um, so when this opportunity was presented to me, man, it just made a lot of sense. Um, you know, I did a lot of research on the aviation and aerospace community because I'm not from there. Um, and it's such a passionate group of people <laughs> yeah. um, that, you know, they, and they're not getting served, right? They're not getting served factual content about their world. Um, and there are a lot of specialty streamers, um, which is what we call Aeroverse, uh, that you haven't heard of, like Gaia and Shudder and Curiosity Stream, Nebula TV, all these different kind of specialty streamers. Um, that aren't trying to be a Netflix or a Hulu or a Paramount Plus, right? They're just serving a certain community. Uh, and that's what we want to do for the aviation community. 
Sounds great. Can we talk a little bit about some of the content that's on there now and then what's going to come up here in the future of Arrowverse? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, right now, like uh, some of our shows, Alaskan Bush Pilots, that's one that's uh, fairly popular. Um, and as well as we've got some original series, uh, Throttle Jockey, hosted by Chelsea Smith. And uh, that's really interesting. The first episode is on crop dusters that we shot here in Texas. Um, and, you know, Charles is very passionate about all kinds of aviation. And, and I thought maybe, Charles, you could talk a little bit about Throttle Jockey and what you wanted to cover with that. Sure. Throttle Jockey, um, everybody knows the commercial jets out at DFW, and their vision of co aviation is a flight school to get to fly the jet at DFW. And that's kind of just the short connect the two dots. When you well, hear of a, of a working pilot, you think airline pilot. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the reality is aviation is very deep in what society needs and delivers. In other words, aviation delivers a lot to society. And it's on some things that you normally wouldn't see. And, you know, our crops are dependent on the crop dusters. Mm -hmm. uh, our police force is dependent on the helicopters. The hospitals are dependent on the care flight for the very urgent uh, patients. The oil field is dependent on the helicopters that serve the Gulf out on the oil platforms. And, uh, you know, I come from the cargo industry, yet <clears throat> the I flew for FedEx. Well, that was in the large jets. The reality is there's even more small single and twin engine airplanes that fly out to these small communities that would not have a quick way to ship and receive things without these smaller airplanes that fly every night. And those are very interesting to look at. And then there's some kind of entertainment value type flying jobs that I'll, I'll say, like banner towing, mm -hmm. uh, air, show. air mm -hmm. shows, uh, scenic rides like over okay, the Hoover yeah. Dam, tourist, tourist type uh, things. So the thing is, as you start to dig into it, there's it, it's deeper and deeper than you think. And and I've only mentioned a few. I could go on if I had to dig hard. And what we wanted to do with Throttle Jockey was go out and cover some of those and bring it to the forefront at Aeroverse so that people could see what these other flying jobs are like. And, and I'm going to throw one more out. Tremendous amount of pilots started out doing pipeline patrol mm -hmm. here in Texas for the pipelines in the oil field looking for leaks. Something very few people are aware that goes on, yet yet it's a very large job and operation. Yeah. Yeah. Now you guys launched the app on a very special date. <laughs> Yes. Well, you know, we had originally talked about launching it in January of this year, 2024. Um, but then I was looking at the calendar and I came across December 17th as being the 120th year anniversary of the Wright Brothers first flight. And so I told Charles, I was like, if we can move the launch date up, it'd be really symbolic to launch on that date. And so we were able to do it. He's like, it's a great idea, let's do it. So we, we really hustled to get everything launched. So we launched on the on the web platform on December 17th. Perfect. So that'll be our anniversary every year. So no, I love that. that. I, I thought that was so cool. Now it's Yeah, because actually you didn't know about Arrowverse. I remember Colin telling you about it and I said, by the way, it'll go on December 17th. What I love about you, Chrissy, is you lit up right away. You knew, you knew the significance of that date. I did. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And he was like, yeah, that was by design. Okay, well, yeah. now we, now I know we're working with a good team here. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, how, so it's been a couple of months now that it's been out. So far, how has Arrowverse uh, been received by the aviation community? Uh, it's it's been phenomenal. You know the the aviation community is so um, you know passionate about what you guys do, and it's really been impressive to me. Um, you know, makes you want to fly, doesn't it? It, it does. <laughs> See, it does, absolutely. We're, We're working on the minds yes. Yes. one at a time. First hit is free, by the yep. way. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, part of where we feel like there's a lot of opportunity, though, is 
you know, is attracting new people to aviation. So, you know, it's not just about serving people that already fly or work in aviation, but mm -hmm. the, I think the even bigger market uh, is to attract the younger generation and get them excited about aviation. The aviation enthusiasts, yes. or the, somebody who might just, the, the person like Charles, who's a kid and watching Blah Blah Black Sheep. Right. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Okay, do you have any ideas as to how to do that? You know, one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna work with flight schools across the country uh, to where if you sign up to uh, a certain flight school uh, and you pay for that to go to that school, you'll get a complimentary subscription to Aeroverse. Oh, the first hit is free, see? Exactly. exactly. That's how we you know, get people on aviation, yeah. honestly. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're doing different things like that. And, of course, we, you know, have great relationships with the AOPA and the EAA, and we want to work with them as yep. well uh, to reach those younger you know, uh, people that are interested in aviation or, or just, you know, new to the to the space. But uh, we feel like that's going to be the best place because you want to start, you know, in my experience, what, from what I've learned so far in research, you start looking at videos about flying before you ever sign up for a yeah. class. Uh, and so that's where we want to get them, right, when they're starting to get interested in the space. Okay. So, Charles, what getting to know you, what I really like is that, uh, most pilots, most aviation enthusiasts find one area that they really like. For you, it's biplanes, which is not a world that I'm very familiar with at all. Right. But yet, you have made it very clear to the Aeroverse production people to cover everything. And I really appreciate that. What, what, why are you wanting to do that? Well, when I go to Aeroverse, right, and I told you I wanted to see some aviation content... I'm very upfront with everybody. I enjoy seeing open cockpit, large biplane flying. And a second one I enjoy very much are sailplanes. I, I actually learned in sailplanes when I was 14. And those two areas are still my most keen interest. But I've made it very clear with Nathan, you, everyone working on this project, Aviation is very broadband, and one thing I'm going to say coming off of what Nathan just talked about, he talked about the young aviator. The old aviator also enjoys to watch uh, aviation content, and I kind of come from that angle on it, right? No, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're not young anymore? No. <laughs> And don't, don't, don't tell me that. Right. There's young and, eagles and then there's old eagles. Right. No, older, not old. Okay, old, oldish. Come on, let's do <laughs> Right. So I come from a 121 background, which is commercial jet flying, yet I really don't have an interest in watching that. I did it right. all the time. Right. Yet the biplanes and sailplanes I still enjoy. Now, I have the belief there are other people that fit that very same template, but in different areas. People that might want to watch the 121 flying. That's there. right. Yeah. And their interest is watching the 121 flying, and they have no interest in biplane flying. So that's why it's called Aeroverse. We're covering the spectrum all the way from maybe remote control airplanes to the, the, the future landing on Mars that yeah. we're ginning up to do and everything in between. And everything in between is we have a real good documentary on there um, called Flying the Rio Grande, yeah. which is ultralight flying and para paraplane flying down the Rio Grande from the very headwater all the way to where it empties in the Gulf. Now, I'm being real fair here. Not my, not my Cup of tea? Core, core interest, yet for an ultralight guy, that's fantastic. They right. don't have to watch the biplane because we cover the whole spectrum of flying, including flight school flying, 121 flying, bush flying, seaplane flying. We have some airship stuff on there, ballooning. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud at how broad spectrum the topics are on this, including the military aviation and warbirds and where I'm going there is not just how they fly and how it looks like they fly, but we have the restoration, how they care for them, how the groups come together on it. And it's, it's very, very interesting. That is really cool. 
What is the future look like for Arrowverse, the near future? <clears throat> the near future, we're going to, we are developing our own content, okay? So we will continue Throttle Jockey. We're, we're actually in our second segment on that. And uh, we have a show we've done called Warbird Restorer out in Breckenridge, Texas with the EZL Aviation. And we will continue on that, which is more of a... Uh, restoration maintenance show but very interesting because let's just say a p51 a lot of people have seen a p51 fly fewer have actually seen one opened up and here's how this works and it's put together and um, maintained so we have that but we're also going to press into some other shows that we're wanting to do also as well as bring in more content onto the site and start to distribute that. And there's also, if I can, one, you know, a couple other things that are really neat that we're going to, um, in March, um, early April, late March, early April, we're going to release to the public, is that the mobile apps um, are going to have a community uh, function. So there'll be a community board where oh, uh, if you, nice. as a, it's kind of like a Facebook for aviation, right? So if you're uh, a member of this, the uh, Arrowverse world, uh, you can post pictures, you can post videos, you can chat to other people, um, and that community function is going to be on the app. Um, and then the other thing we're going to launch as well in March is the streaming channels. So if you don't w want to uh, hunt for a particular show, you can go to our streaming channels and 24-7, commercial-free, you can watch Warbird content, you can watch general aviation content, you can watch just documentary films. Um, and so we're going to roll out the streaming channels and the community function uh, in March. That's great. So uh, to recap, right now, um, as of the airing of this, or I mean the, the taping, taping of this, taping of this um, Arrowverse is available on the web and, and on Roku. Correct. And, uh, when and by the time you're watching this, it might be on the app as well. Okay. And so in March, that's when we're going to yes. go to the yeah. other Mid-March, mid to late March, will be on Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, and will also be in the mobile app stores. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. If they want to sign up, go to aeroverse.com. And we're actually going to have a a taking off discount code to where if you mm -hmm. use our code, I'll have it in the link below, but use our code and you can get a discount off of your Arrowverse subscription. So if you guys want exclusive content and just nothing but airplanes all the time, 24 seven, go to Arrowverse.com. And, and guys, I'll tell you, I actually, you know, because I'm doing some work with Arrowverse, I didn't have to do this. I bought the app because I want to support this. I really, truly believe in it. If you do anything, please subscribe to this because if it succeeds, it's a great thing for aviation. Can we ask how much the service yeah. costs? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it's only uh, $8.99 a month or oh. 80, 89 for the year. That is actually really good. So you get good. two months free if you do the year, yep. basically. Absolutely. Yeah. For all airplanes all the time? All right. All right. Very good. All right. Well, Shows like this are brought to you by our sponsors. I mentioned 67 Designs earlier. Also, Clemens Insurance. Jerry at ClemensInsurance.net saved me a ton of money. Colton Mortgage, ColtonTakingOff.com. Flying Eyes, these are the best glasses for under headsets or helmets. Use our discount code, taking off all caps, one word, for 10% off. Z Vision, the brightest landing and taxi lights out there. Marshall Protection Services. And Marshall Services. Protection Services, actually, in our audience, is the owner. <laughs> and MPSProtects.com. And by the way... One thing you don't have to listen to, me and Christy do this, is if you go to Arrowverse <laughs> and subscribe, it's sponsor-free, ad-free. So just want you to know that. Supporting our sponsors really does help support us. We'd like to thank you guys as well for helping support us. You can support us some more by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. And in the meantime, fly safe. We'll see you all next time. In the hangar.